all right all right uh shalom uh first and foremost i want to give all praise glory and honor unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem raka kodash and i would like to give a double honors unto the apostles and the elders a uh, great millstone and uh, much blessing to you brothers out there laboring in truth and in sincerity okay uh i was watching apostle ramla's videos uh the name of yahweh the name of yahweh shai okay of which yahweh that's the name of the heavenly father okay and yahweh shai in the ancient hebrew that's the name of his son okay whom the world calls jesus christ his name is yahweh shai and whom the word the world calls uh, god lord okay his name is yahweh okay and uh if you go back and watch these videos man the apostle goes uh i've, up, I've re uploaded them to my channel the apostle uh goes into the breakdown uh of these names man okay um so uh this lesson is simply gonna be on the import uh that those those particular names are important for us to receive okay those names yahweh and the names yahweh shai are important for us to receive for salvation man okay for us to be able to call upon the heavenly father uh for him to protect us uh, concerning the things that are coming on the planet earth okay so it was needful that the heavenly father man uh, gave us those names uh before the end of this kingdom man okay because it's through those names that we are gonna be saved okay uh this is proverbs 30 and 4 and it says who have ascended up into heaven or descended who have gathered the wind in his feast who have bound the, who have bound the waters in a garment who have who hath established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's what is what his what is his son's name if thou canst tell so the names of the heavenly father and the name of his sons of of his son are important man okay if the names are uh, yahweh and the the name yahweh shai those are very important name man okay it's very important to understand those particular names all right and uh there is many people that call the heavenly father in uh, uh many different names but the heavenly father has one name and his son has one uh one uh one name as well and the name yahweh and the name yahweh shai we believe through faith that those are the names of the heavenly father and his son man okay we believe that the names that we were taught uh by our apostles okay those we believe those indeed are the right pronunciation uh the right pronunciation of the names matter of fact uh, uh so lucky let me just uh get one particular piece of Okay, I know there's different there's different different camps and Israelite groups that are that are that are, are say that the name of the heavenly father is not what we call him. Okay, it's to the point that there's some camps that uh, call call on the heavenly father uh, on the Lord by uh, the name that's written in the scriptures, which is Jesus or Christ. Okay of which those are greek names man okay the word christ uh, goes back to the word christos which means uh anointed of which it was just it was a title man okay uh, the word christian man goes back uh, to the word uh, uh 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 christ man okay christian man okay the anointed all right it's zechariah zechariah 14 and 9 it says and the lord shall be and the lord shall be king over all the earth in that day shall there be one lord and his name one okay so there's not gonna be many different variations man of what the heavenly father is man okay he's gonna have one name okay we're gonna call upon him uh uh uh, uh using his name because most of the times man a lot of guys they um even though you know some some of them deny the name of the heavenly father which 
he is revealed unto us men through are the men that were set up before us okay even though this particular certain guys would, would, would deny that that's the name of the heavenly father but when trouble starts men they will call upon that particular name okay they will turn around men and you know and call upon uh that particular name uh, for safety men all right um this is Zephaniah 3 and 9 say for for i will turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the lord to save him with one consentment so eventually the lord was gonna uh, give us that name okay the pure language is the uh the lasha what we call the lasha one kodash okay uh which is uh uh, uh the ancient hebrew man or can we believe that they are uh, the hebrew that was taught to us the ancient hebrew man that is the right hebrew man okay and every now and again man, we have evidence uh, uh, uh of historical evidence man, to prove man that indeed that was the ancient hebrew okay the names yahawa and the names yahawa shaman every now and again man, you might pull out evidence that will lead you to those particular names okay so we know like you know the the overall everything is uh is uh is is um uh, is on faith okay we receive what we receive based on faith and if we get any evidence for anything is simply to cement our faith okay uh, uh to build on our faith okay so for i will turn to these people a pure language which that uh, that's the ancient hebrew that they may call upon the name of the lord and we received we did receive the name of the lord in the ancient hebrew okay if you go to the name uh to the word lord uh in the scriptures man if you read it out the right way not the way they uh the so-called you read it but if you read it out the right way man it gives you the the, the name yahweh man okay to save him with one consent man because all israel really man is supposed to be all under uh, uh one mindset man one doctrine uh one name okay but you know the heaven father set up all these divisions in israel really meant to sift out uh undesirables meant to sit to sift out uh certain characters men which the lord does not uh, does uh, does not want okay because this path man this path uh uh this path is very narrow man okay only few men are gonna find the correct way man all right uh this is romans uh 10 and 14 uh, 10 and uh, 13 it says for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved okay for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved okay so for you to be saved man you have to know the names of the heavenly father and the son so you can call upon them okay it says how then shall they call upon how then shall they call upon him how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed okay how can you call on uh, on yahweh why yahweh shaman if you've not believed okay and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher man so the heavenly father may set out preachers okay the heavenly father may set out teachers man to come and give us because everything we you know because the, the lord uses men to teach other men okay this is why i mean you know it was one particular man that was given the the uh, the, uh, the 12 tribe uh the 12 the 12 tribe sign okay and that man taught it to other men okay and then to to, to us now who've come in this generation now and we've received uh we've uh, we've, we've received it as well we've been taught it as well okay so the heavenly father man always spoke speaks through uh his, his men teachers okay so there is men that came and taught us that name uh which we can call upon men for us to be saved men okay which that name is yahawa and the son's name is yahawa shine okay he says that uh, and how how and how shall they and how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach except they be sent so the, the so there is men that were sent okay so there is men that were sent men to come and to come and give us that particular name man okay of which we're gonna uh, of which we needed for salvation as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach uh, that that preach gospel of peace the names of the heavenly father men are a part of that gospel okay 
and bring glad tidings of good things men for example men letting us know that we are the israelites men that's glad tidings okay Let, letting us know men that we have a kingdom coming men that's glad tidings okay giving us the names of the heavenly father and the name of uh, of his son men for us to be saved men that's glad tidings okay um uh, proverbs 18 and 10 it says the name of the lord let me read out the actual name say the name of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe okay so in any situation that you find yourself that you find yourself entang entangled in you call upon the name of the heavenly father okay we have a mediator man so it's the name of the heavenly father through his son man, which is our mediator man so it is yahweh through yahweh shai okay or yahweh in the ancient hebrew is yahweh bahashem yahweh shai okay so we do have a mediator so we go through uh, to get to yahweh when we go through his son yahweh shai so those names uh, come together man okay the name of the name of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe so it was important for us to receive those names man okay especially with the things that are coming on the earth all right because yahweh shai before he left me one of the instructions he gave was for us uh, to go and teach in those names okay in the english because the heavenly father set it up this way man so that way because just think about think about how they've uh, they've dragged the name jesus in the mud okay let's say for example that was the name jesus or christ was the name of the heaven father man look can you can you imagine how much is being blasphemed okay so it's only right that the heaven father may hid his name from these people man okay and then now only 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 the precious elect are, are able to receive that name that precious name okay uh, Matthew 8 28 and 18 and he says and Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations the reason he says teach all nations is because all Israelites are scattered among all nations okay so go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father Yahweh and of the son Yahweh Shai and of the and of the Holy Spirit okay which is the uh, which is a uh, Kodash okay Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash the Holy Spirit okay did uh, my mind went blank for a second okay so it was important for us uh, for us to receive those names man okay because we needed them uh, to receive so we needed them for us to receive salvation man okay we needed we needed them for us men to make our supplications to the heavenly father man to come and save us out of this place because remember man uh, uh uh the prayer of solomon okay what he said man that uh that uh that uh if we if we if we turned around from uh, if we if we when whenever we were in captivity and we turned around and prayed to, to, uh, to a prayer toward to pray towards the east okay to the house which the lord built it which is in jerusalem so we turn to the east okay and call upon the name of the heavenly father that he would come and save us okay so while we're in this captivity for for us to go for it man what the lord did man, was he hid his name from it man okay but now we are we are coming up at the end of our captivity so now the heavenly father gave us back those names okay the heavenly father gave us back those names now okay verse 20 said teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even unto the end of the world amen okay so the lord is with us always even unto the end of the world man which is you know uh, which we are in now okay acts 2 and 21 it says and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved it says uh 
ye men of Israel, hear these words. So these are the words that the men of Israel are supposed to hear, man. Okay, that through that name, because this was concerning his son at that time. Okay, because now salvation would come through his son. Okay, through the heavenly father's son, Yahweh Shai. Okay. He says, so this, this is a message to Israel, man, that now we will be saved through the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, man, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, ye men of Israel, hear these words. That's what it means by that whosoever, okay, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. It doesn't mean the whole entire planet. Okay, that's why it made the point there, man, say, ye men of Israel, hear these words, not the whole planet. Yahabashai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the whole story. Let's go to uh, Acts 4 and 10. It says, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, again, to the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai Mashayak of Nazareth whom ye crucified whom the most I raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand here before you all because the apostle Peter just did a miracle and um and made a man who was disabled from the time he was born uh, able to walk man okay and he says this is the stone which was set at naught by your builders which is become the head the head of the corner okay neither is there any neither is there any salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved okay and the heavenly father have given us back those names okay for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved so and the heavenly fathers gave us back those names and we believe on them through faith okay okay we believe on those names through faith man yahweh we be, uh, through faith yahweh shai through faith all right and only certain men are going you know certain men the lord that just blinded them man okay they can pull out precepts and all that stuff man to try and de debunk to try to debunk, debunk it or go into the Hebrew and say, look, it's a higher, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, man, it simply just means that you just, you're just just not given, okay? It's not been revealed to you, man. Okay? Um, Matthew 16, oh, see, that's the spirit, man. Matthew 16 and 15, it says, um, Okay, uh, this is a um, this is a conversation that Yahweh Shai had with his disciples. Okay, uh, concerning him, he says uh, Matthew 16, and I'll, I'll read from uh, 13, and he says when when Yahweh Shai came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, "Whom do men say that? Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am?" And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, okay? Some say Al Elias, okay? And others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. So in those times, the people there understood reincarnation. They understood uh, the lot of the prophets, man. Okay? So when Yahweh was doing the miracles, they thought he must be, they knew that he must have, be, he must have been one of those great prophets from the past okay that's why they compared him to elias which is elijah to jeremiah or one of the prophets with isaiah maybe okay verse 15 and he saith unto them but whom say whom say ye that i am okay and simon peter answered and said thou art the anointed the son of the living power okay so peter said up said you are the anointed okay okay you are the christ okay and he says uh because you know because they knew that the anoint uh the, the messiah was was supposed to come on the planet f okay just as some certain people denied that he was the messiah 
okay verse 17 and he says and yahweh answered and said unto him blessed art thou simon by jonah for flesh and blood have not revealed for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven so certain things like the name of the heavenly father man is is not somebody that can convince you that those are the names of the heavenly father man okay but it's the spirit in you man that that reveals certain things to you man okay this is why i said man we receive the names of the heavenly father by faith all right we we heard the names and we accepted it man it rested with our spirits man. we said yeah man you know that has to be it man and we've not looked anywhere else ever since okay so certain things man you know it's, you know a man can tell you man this is what it is but whether you believe it or not is really not up to you man it's through the spirit okay the heavenly father man uh, uh, opens up your mind to receive it man okay for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven man and through and so we you know we understand but that is the heavenly father man that opened our minds for us to receive those names which we need for salvation okay amos 3 and 7 it says surely the lord power will do nothing surely yahweh bahashem yahweh shai will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets so the heavenly father reveals his secrets unto the servants the prophets okay the name of the heavenly father man is a secret okay it's a secret man okay the world don't know it man the world are, are, are praying to god and jesus christ okay yahweh uh yeshua um you know all these different variations man of what people think the name of the heavenly father is man okay so it's a it's a massive blessing for brothers man that have that have received the names of the heaven father and believed on them man okay the names yahweh and his son's name yahweh shai okay anyway with that man i'm gonna i'm gonna close it on that and i hope it was edifying and until next time i'm gonna say shalom